so everyone is sitting on each other. The 5 kg box rests on a table top. What is the normal force exerted by the 5 kg box on the 3 kg box? Oh, sad. We didn't even talk about 2 kg box. Nice. Okay, so consider G is equal to 9.8 meters per second square. The options are Option A, 19.6 Newtons. Option B, 29.4 Newtons. Option C, 49 Newtons. Or Option D, 98 Newtons. Well, 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 well. I hope you got it right. The correct option is option C, 49 Newtons, guys. Congratulations. You have done a great job. Keep the... a difficult problem but i have complete trust on you you will be able to do it the correct option comes out to be option d 5000 kgs per meter cube and here goes the solution now let's talk about a vessel our vessel has a small hole at its bottom if water can be poured into it up to a height of 7 cm without leakage, considering that G is equal to 10 meters per second square, the radius of the hole is. Also consider surface tension of water is 0.07 newtons per meter. So since the values are given, I am hoping that this is a straightforward formula application. The options are option A 1.2 mm, option B 0.2 mm, option C 0.1 mm or option D 0.4 mm and your time starts now. So my dear students, the correct answer is option B 0.2 mm. I really hope that you got it right. 
congratulations and it really looks like the straightforward application of the formula isn't it yes got it right now moving on to a very interesting question air is streaming past a horizontal aeroplane wing such that its speed is 120 meters per second at the upper surface and 90 meters per second at the lower surface if the wing is 10 meters long and 2 meters wide and density of air is 1.3 kg per meter cube the gross lift on it will be how much in newtons basically that's it's a very easy question that looks like a very easy question but again standard application of the formula so if you know the formula you are able going to do it very well the options are option a 81.9 newtons option b 8.19 newtons option c 4.095 into 10 power 4 newtons and option d 8.19 into 10 power 4 newtons that's interesting so if i apply the theory of cancelling the mcq options it looks like option c could not be the correct answer because there are multiple options with the same magnitude basically 81.9 8.19 and the option d so it should be either from a b and d my dear students this is one of the tricks which you can apply in your real examination also have the capability to cancel out few mcq options as well good job just a tip So the correct answer is option D 8.19 into 10 per 4 newtons and here goes the solution. Just two more questions left guys just two more questions. Question number 9. A wire of length 60 cm is bent into a circle with a gap of 1 cm at its ends. On heating it by 100 degrees Celsius the length of the gap increases to 1.02 cm. The coefficient of linear expansion alpha of material of wire is hmm. Option A 2 into 10 power minus 4 per degree Celsius Option B 4 into 10 power minus 4 per degree Celsius Option C 6 into 10 power minus 4 per degree Celsius or Option D 1 into 10 power minus 4 per degree Celsius The correct option is 2 into 10 power minus 4 per degree Celsius. And my dear students, this was the ninth question. I hope till now you have been getting the right answers. Just a request from uh, our side. Let us know how many of you guys got all the questions right in the comment section below. Even if you have got multiple questions right, we would request you guys to put down the comments down below. And also if you guys didn't get any questions right, that is okay. We just want you guys to put down your views about these videos how much they are helping you in the comment section below we'll be really happy to reply to all of them as we are already doing isn't it yes so my dear students going on to question number 10 now a thin square plate of mass m and the length of each of its side is l find the moment of inertia